Hi right, guys, this time I'm going to be doing Automatic Model G Electrolux versus Auric Hypo Allogenic Plus XL2. First off, I'm going to mess with the Electrolux. We're going to turn it on so you can hear it. But before I do, this thing here has got a knob. What that tells you is how fun the vacuum dirt can be to pick it up. Right now it's on slow setting, which means the dirt has to be really thin. Really light traffic area, more or less. And my, I, that's what I believe what that does anyways. But we're going to turn this thing on. Kind of weakens the suction, but when you do this. Oh, that makes it weaker. Okay. I've always ran on its highest setting, so. That's where I've always had it, so. It needs a new bag, but that's to be expected. This thing ain't been ran for a long time, so. So let's go ahead and put the power nozzle on and get started. So, right now it is running, as you can hear. Got storms coming in. So, and this electrolux is so old that you got a cord running all the way up down the hose. And the plug in on the side is on the side of the vacuum itself, inside the canister. Burning like a kitten right now, which means it's running great. And this electrolux was given to me also by my mom's fr uh, classmate that she went to school with. Friend of hers from school. Best running electrolux you can ever ask for, really. Runs great. Now, we come over here and we'll turn it off so you can hear what it sounds like when you shut it off. Here we go. See? No noise, nothing. And it's got that retractable cord on it. Now, yeah, I put this back in its little cave, little cove area. Pull it out again next time I vacuum. Okay. Now, for my orc, this thing only weighs eight pounds. I don't have just a single headlight, it's got two on it. Um, 
I had to redo the cord on it. Me and my buddy did that, but I didn't do it, get it on video. Uh, what we did, we cut the bad section of the wire out. We put a layer of solder on it after we re rewired it. And as you can tell right here, as you can see now, this electrical tape serves the purpose of the cord. All right. And ever since then, the thing has ran. I have not had any problem with it. So. So really, not much really else to say about it, but we're going to turn it on and back in with it and then call it quits for the day. I like to work on vacuums, take them to a friend, me and my friend will mess with them, see if we can get them running, if there's anything wrong with them. Now this org here, uh, the motor is just a single speed. Um, a lot of these work Hypoallergenics Plus XL2s have a two speed motor on them. This one here only has a single speed. So, and this here does have two headlights on it. Yeah, I got all kinds of vacuums, but I use one, use a different one just about any other time I'm, I vacuum. But when I vacuum hard floor, I usually use this one. But here we go. That was Orcopa Allergenic Plus XL2 versus Electrolux Automatic Model G. Thanks for watching.